Hi, I'm Sammy and welcome to Sammy's Tips. Today we're going to go over the decode rounding feature on the Triton and Triton Plus. So here we have a key. It is for a 2015 Nissan Altima and we have it clamped in on the D side of the S1 jaw. And um, we're just going to be decoding the key and showing how the decodes can tell you more about the exact cuts on the machine. So we're going to go up to our screen here now and we're going to select automobile and we're going to go to Nissan. We're going to do Altima and because it's for 2015, we're going to go to 1998 to 2020. And so you can see here, um, we have the key types at the bottom. It's going to be a DA34 or a DAT15 for an example, if you're referencing your own keys. And you can see it's showing on the screen. It's going to be the D side, like I have it set up, to the middle red line. And all we're doing is we're just going to decode it. So I'm going to close or I'm going to keep our shield open. And because you don't need shield close for decoding, we're going to go straight to the decode button. Now, as you can see here, right around here, it has round and it's turned on. So we usually recommend for this to be turned off, especially if you have keys that are worn down. Let's say it's an older vehicle, maybe the ignition lock is worn down. If you have it turned on, you're more likely going to run into issues when you decode the key. So we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna hit the decode button and get it started here. Hit okay, because jaw's clear. All right, so our key decoding is done. And as you can see here on the screen where the cuts are, they're all in red. Now, sometimes um, you might see white and red cuts. Usually what that means is that the white cuts are going to be the whole cuts, while the reds are gonna be partial cuts. Now, partial cut isn't a bad thing. It just means that it's not an exact whole cut. So if we go over here, we're gonna to go to our input button and we're gonna see the exact cuts that it gave us. So if we're looking at this screen here, you'll notice the top row is the whole cut and then the row below is gonna be the decimal. So even though the first cut right here is gonna be a two, it's actually showing and reading as a 1.9. So if you look here at all these cuts, you can see that they're all 0.9, which is within tolerance. Usually you want the tolerance to be uh, plus or minus two point decimals. So if you're looking at the decimal positions, you can see, you know, it can be anything from 0 0.0 up to 0.9 for the decimals. So this key, we would call it as intolerance. Now, if you had a key, let's say maybe the first cut read as maybe a 1.6 and it was supposed to be a two, that would mean this key for that cut is a bit worn down. So you might want to be careful when you're cutting the key. You want to make sure it's going to cut that actual 1.6 instead of the 2 because with the 2 cut, it may not work in the lock because of how worn down the key and the lock could be. But otherwise, besides that, you can always change it if you need to. Um, you just put in the right number, hit OK. And even though it shows as rounded up to the next whole number here, it is still going to be that decimal when you go back to this input screen. So it knows and saves us in the machine. And that was Sammy's tips and thanks for watching.